promising amateur like a dream girl. Whoa! <laughs> Not cool. Hey guys, Dave here and welcome back to the channel. I do appreciate you checking in. I hope everybody's doing good. All right, before we get this uh, two degree of freedom motion rig or seat mover working, I told you I was gonna show you a little video on how to incorporate the uh, SimTool game plugins. So that's what we're gonna, gonna go ahead and do right now. I'm gonna go ahead and sit down in this rig because uh, there's a Assetto Corsa Competition. Uh, you know, I, I bought that game probably like when it came out. And I put it on my PC and it just it just made my PC die. It Basically, my PC back then couldn't handle it. But now that I've got a little bit better PC, I'm going to go ahead and put the motion on it. And you, it's the same procedure for putting Need for Speed or Assetto Corsa or whatever on your two degree of freedom seat mover. So let's get to it. You're gonna get your game manager, you're gonna get your plugins from xsimulator.net. So let's go to the uh, download section after you get a login and you get this page here. Well, what you wanna do is scroll down until you get these race car plugins. Now for the two degree of freedom rig, we wanna find, um, the need for speed there it is so so you would just click it and you would download it now if this is grayed out this little download now thing if it's grayed out you're probably not logged in or you haven't paid for it yet and make sure you read their notes I downloaded this a long time ago so I don't need to do it again so there's a bunch of different games you can do here uh, project cars race is kind of an old game race room even GT Evolution, Race On, all these different things, The Grid, um, Race Room 2, all these different games. And they got motorbikes, they got carts, uh, some different simulations here, flight simulations. But what I want to do is download and install the Assetto Corsa Competizione. Um, well, Assetto Corsa, you would go right here. And you would download it. So anyway, you, you find the Assetto Corsa Competizione. If you can't find it, you can go to possibly home or just go into Google and type in xsimulator.net plugins. And right there, SimTool plugins. Um, and you can get several different ones you can you can find out right here but it's all going to go point you back to that same page anyway so what i want and i downloaded the assetto corsa competizione plugin oh it's right here sorry so i've got the zip file what i want to do is i don't want to really open the zip file i just want to find it so i'm gonna I, I find it right here in my download section and it should highlight it. It's right there. I said, said of course, a Competizione plugin. And what we want to do is find our, go to C. And then we're going to find the, the program that SimTools is installed in. So we're going to go to C. And we're going to go to Program Files x86. And we're going to scroll down here. This is where I installed SimTools. And this is where it is. Now, there's a couple different things. You've got the game engine, game manager, game manager exe, uh, the plugin updater, registration, all these different things. You want the plugin updater. So we're going to click that. It brings up this little box. What you do is drag the file, oh, drag your zip file, the, a set of course of competition or need for speed. I said, of course, so any of the other games, and you just drag that zip file into here. Now, see how it turned into a little plus sign? And it's going to say, a file's installed, installation complete, and we're done. There we go. 
All right, so now we're going to go to the SimTools game engine. Start that up. Game engine is running. And we'll start up game manager. Game manager is running. Uh, let's take the game manager. And we have set of course a competition now that's added i didn't have that before i don't have that many games i got no limits need for speed dirt rally dirt dirt and a set of course so this is brand new for me so i'm really not sure uh if you click patch i'm going to click patch game do i want to patch it for motion yes and i and it says patch installed now it should work um, I didn't try it before and I haven't maybe I'll do it tonight, but that's the same thing you're gonna have to do for any of the games now a set of course it already says if I do patch it says game is already patched So this is just a little bit of uh, it'll say the same thing for live for speed if I say patch and you have to hit that The first time you know, you don't have to do it again. Just the first time you uh, It's already patched do I want to remove the patch? No. So, whatever. We're good. Um, well, anyway, this is just kind of a quick down and dirty on how to get the uh, the SIM tools, the uh, the plug-in to go in. Now, they already wrote these programs. Very simple to do. And uh, to get your motion rig moving, that's what you're going to have to do. You're going to have to download the plug-in and patch it in. Um, and just these two or three programs. If you have to watch the video a couple times, that's cool with me. Um, and if you want to subscribe, that's cool with me too. So I, I'd appreciate it. Um, now, I'm not going to race right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of work on this thing. Um, probably get it back down on the ground and, uh, you know, do the same thing. I already got the patch in, but... Uh, Let's let's get rolling on that and I'll talk to you guys later. Like I said, I was just trying to make a little video on this kind of weird with the Hey, so oh my god. Yeah, <laughs> totally different. All right guys So like I said, it's not that hard to do. All you need to do is log in then download the patch click that patch uh, updater then drag the patch in there and then when you go into the game manager you want to click patch for motion or what it says patch and it says patch for motion do you want motion you say yes because that's why we're doing this um <laughs> anyway all right guys have a good one have a great weekend uh december is coming and uh, hopefully everybody gets what they want or at least what you deserve good or bad all right guys i'm going to try to get to the last little bit of this uh, two degree of freedom motion sim rig working uh, it's a two degree of freedom seat mover. Um, I don't have any Fanatec stuff on it. I don't have VR or anything like that. It's just me bare bones. I'll be using a screen, but I did that. You have to do that patch updater to make this thing move. All right, guys, check in later. Have a good one. Dave out. Then we get through this switchback. Another one. Another switchback. Try not to lose the rear end coming out of these sharp turns. Whoa.